Okay, I'll get on your back, you weirdo. Is this just a thing that you love to do? Oop. I dashed forward too hard, so it undid the, uh... Oop. Oop. Oh no, I have to press the- I have to press jump. No! It's fine, they're just rings. What do rings even do? Rings, coins. Oh, it shows the path. Like little dots. Okay, so it's not the biggest map ever then, because uh, a bunch of it's going to be kind of filled in. These might be the outer boundaries of the whole world. Like, I might, we might never go this far, like further this way. But uh, obviously a bunch of this chunk, a bunch of the map's going to be like really long chunks of ocean. Apparently there's something over, yeah, over here. Hmm. Wait, that's where we came from. Here we go. Whoop! Uh oh. I killed him! He's dead! What does this thing do? What are you? Cat bombs? Kitty 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 catty bambos? Go Whoa. Uh-oh. We're fine. It's just a Tanook. You're not even... You're not even... A kitty. Unlock. Uh, maybe if I get the rest of the way. Uh... Whoa. Not what I was trying to do, obviously. Is this ultimately just a go back to Mario mode button? Is that ultimately what that means? Anyway. How do you, wait, how do I pick them up? I just did it a minute ago. Why can't I do it again? Okay, you, you run into it. You don't press the button on it. You run into it. Okay. Huh. 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 Oh no, it's all okay. Nah, that that one bomb actually got the entire wall in one go. My goal was like, oh, the first one, the first time I did this, I only got half the wall. Maybe if I, if I can get two of them there fast enough, I'll get the whole wall. Maybe turning all of the walls into that at the same time will cause something to happen. Chill, chill. I don't even see what it was. Oh, it's a Tanook. Got additional Tanook. I'm all full on Tanook. Yeah, that was a lot of work to get a Tanook, you leaf. I probably... And then there was another one right there. Kind of a throwaway thing. Such a weird standalone island felt like it was going to amount... Oh, there's a block behind them all. Maybe I'm supposed to get that one. Uh-oh. Uh... Where's the boozer blocks? I didn't search for them yet. Wah! I slip skate slope. Make the lighthouse shine. Cool, but where's the boozer blocks? Ow! Oh god, it's all spikes. Didn't really plan that ahead. There's a shoe. I'm a shoe now. This is just a thing that's happening. Oh goodness! Oh goodness me! Oh goodness! Okay, we're good. Where am I going? Oh my god, how big is this level? No, I missed it. Too bit too busy shoe mode. Uh. That's how I get rid of Boozer, but I don't want to get rid of Boozer. I want the I want the Boozer block. I you know, let's just get it. This is too early in the level. I haven't had a chance to explore yet. He'll show up again. Let's just get rid of him. This one has like an extended track. I'm, uh, I missed one of them on the way here. That health bar looks bigger this time. Last time I was growing concerned that that was his health bar for the whole game. But no, you're just, 
It's how you just you're just doing more and more health damage to him, which makes the boss fight f easier and faster. Ah, uh, there's the boozer blocks. Shit. They were on my screen, and <laughs> I didn't register that they were there fast enough. Unless that's the next zone? Maybe? It might technically be the next zone. Do you, do you know about Shaps and Snaps? Yeah, okay, yeah. It's telling me about the photo mode, which I just found on accident. Without fail, I find everything right before they tell me about it. Even if it's something kind of obscure like that. Go figure. Hello, Plessy. But he's just gonna be somewhat off-puttingly... Just always offering... He's just presenting to me at all moments. Don't you want to come back over here? It's me, your buddy Plessy. Just jump on my back. Why aren't you jumping on my back, Mario? Don't you love me, Mario? Oh. So it does not automatically give you a power-up you don't have all of yet. It'll just straight up give you one that you're full on. And then be like, oh, well. Here's some coins, I guess. At least there's that, but I definitely want more coins. I mean, I definitely want more cats. I have a, a lack of cat points. Bet you hid something back here, didn't you? There it is. The difficulty level of finding those is all over the place. All over the place. Oh, right. <laughs> Did that on accident. Hut! You're making my life harder. You're making my life harder. Yeah. Oh God damn it. This is the thing that's gonna mess. Me. This, uh, this messes with me more than anything else. All right. Let's just go perfectly left and right, and we won't hit the wall. There we go. Uh, the wall jump messes with me constantly. Yay! Add what? Add that to my pile. Add that to my pile, good sir. The hamsters are running in the wheel. It's the ending part, so let's not go let's not go off there right now. Just exploring a bit. I need to jump on top of one of these. But yeah, I, I keep sticking to walls because that is a mechanic in this game in 3D Mario. In Mario 3D World. And then I do, when I don't mean to do it, but then like when I'm trying to get off of it, he then wall jumps away from the wall, it, like drew completely perpendicular. And I'm like, no, 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 not that either. <laughs> That's also not what I want. I'm just trying to get unstuck because I didn't want to be on here. Do 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 do. This is kind of dangerous, but I figured it out. So if I get the shoe, I can at least get that one. And then maybe I can jump out of the shoe. Oh, there's one here too. Cool. <laughs> I did it. So good at platformers. I'm so good at platformers. They really are where I shine. Shine! That was the joke. I did the joke. Whoop! Don't fall off this time! Don't fall off this time! Ha! Ha! Okay. Well. Time to restart this entire sequence several times. Oh. I am under Atake. I guess I should go for the one that I know about while we're here. Coins. It's cool. I had other things I was planning on doing right now, but Bowser can come interrupt me, I guess. Not like I like you or anything. <gasps> it's intimidating. Ruins Gigabell. Hey, he did it for me. Now I get to go in here. That goes somewhere. What? Uh. Huh? Okay. These are here. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Oh god. Is there a time limit to make it there? I hear ticking. Okay. 
cat shine. Get out of here with your Dynasty Warriors music. Oh, wait, that was fucking adorable. Look at that. Look at that fuck. <laughs> it's that wobble when cats are about to pounce on something. Oh my god, is that why he looks like that? Because for cat mode? Wait. Is that a shine in the middle of the ocean? Or is it a bell? Unsure I am. Away we go! That's just a cat bell. Uh, this wasn't really worth it. Plessy, help. I'm drowning. Why are you all the way over there, Plessy? Where, where'd you go? Oh yeah, Plessy's doing those teleports that video games like to do. I first noticed this in Bioshock Infinite. Just because Elizabeth was always exactly where she needed to be so often that it was definitely impossible. She was definitely teleporting whenever I didn't look at her. Boom. But uh do I just need to win? Ow, bad start for that. Uh oh. God damn it. Oh I'm tiny! That's the first time that's actually happened, huh? I've never lost my mushroom power. Let's just destroy them. I have weapon now. Oh, it missed me, so it went past me in the other direction. But if you if you dodge your own, that's pretty good conveyance of the idea. It's like, oh, you, you uh, this is a battle arena. You got to beat everybody in battle, and they show that by having what looks like a, a boxing ring around you. So yeah, I dodged my own boomerang, so it kept chasing me, which can be a lethal thing. That's like one of my Hades builds, if used correctly. I barely even looked around here because I like I like swam I blasted through it with Plessy. Let's take another look around at the beginning island. Here's where I landed. Oh. Here, Mario. Sit on me, Mario. Says Plessy in a button like a PG way. <laughs> what was that? Oh, was that just you teleporting? Yeah, it was you teleporting. Okay. I thought I saw coins or some sort of thing pop up. Blue coin bustle. Ah. Oh, hey. Do, 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 do. Big get! Oh my! Oh my! Boomerang collected it. Can I collect power-ups? Nope, not not that way. At least not that one. At least. Okay. I don't necessarily need to be in a power. Well, this will help me with mobility if I do get in trouble. But I don't necessarily need a a power for this, it's probably a, a shoe-oriented blue coin bustle. The bustle hustle. So that's what's up- yeah! Oh god. Oh god. Do we have to do this right now, Bowser? So that's what's up with the spikes everywhere. You have to collect the blue coins. Oh god. This is going to be the hard part. This is going to be the hard part. No! I'm going to fail this. I'm going to fail this. Ah! Blue coin! I just got blue coin balled. Blue, 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 blue. It's inappropriate. It's, in, it's a children's game. How dare you? 
There are families watching this. Entire families watching me. For some reason. God, I hope not. Talk to each other <laughs> instead. Have conversations. In this setting, stars seem particularly kind of stupid and unimportant. Ooh, he gives me like an he gives me like an alternate staircase while he's here. Kitty? How do I get the kitty stuff to come out? Ah! <laughs> make it, make it, make it. Nope. Make it, make. Okay, you can just infinitely climb. I see the trick here. That's just some hot bullshit. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Okay, so that that part's gonna be hard. That element of the blue coin bustle. Having to perfectly skate along those two paths and get them on my first try each time. Because if you loop back around, it takes too long. Everything up till then is fucking child's play. What is this, a kid's game? No! It's weirdly hard, I swear. And then that happens. We have to make it through the hard qu quickly. No, 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 no! I only missed one. We have to start the whole thing over. They're taking me back to Skyward Sword. With that goddamn slide in the sand. You better get this collectible perfectly. If you slightly deviate from this weird sliding feeling, then you're uh, gonna get a loop all the way back around and try again. Except in that, I was being hunted by instant kill monsters. Oh god. Don't waste my cat powers. Okay. There we go. Right about the spikes. One of the things I also like about 3D Mario is that it's usually more intuitive and not full of weird mechanics that don't make any sense to me. I watch Mario Maker levels every now and then, and I'm like, I don't understand how you... How do you even know that that's a thing you can do? Fuck! Ow, oh, shit. That thing's, like, designed to ruin me. Huh. Now I gotta go. Oh, shit, but I didn't get the other ones. No! Oh my god, I don't... This one's pissing me off. <laughs> But yeah, there's like a lot of really weird logic behind how 2D Mario works in the early games that makes no sense to me. Like if I if I were to cover a lot more, I, I guess I'd get it eventually. But if I if I covered a lot more paper uh, Mario Maker, for example, there'd be a lot of frustrating episodes of me failing a level over and over again because I don't understand the like you gotta do the thingy, the thingy, the magic. That one move makes you immune to spikes for some reason. And like every level has different mechanics because every all the, it's like emulating like five different Mario games and they all have different rules and I'm like I don't know what any of the rules are for any of them let alone all of them. There's like so many weird arcane things you'd have to know because you and the people just know because they grew up with those games and they don't even remember the they, at this point they don't even remember when they didn't know that stuff and it's just so built in. No. Okay. Finally, no more mistakes. Yay! The number of times I missed like one coin. That was agony. Oh, uh, here we are uh, fucking uh, go again. It's kind of funny, because when you get down to it, I really like the shoe. I, get, I like how it controls, and it's just kind of like a fun little thing. But I would not be surprised if by the time I beat this game, this one section might be my least favorite part of the whole game. I mean, never say never, we'll see what else happens. But, uh, oh god. Just having to restart this entire section every time I, I missed one thing with the shoe was just a real bummer. 
Where's the... Oh, he can't hit me up here. Cool. So that's where the one thing is. So I need to go through here and get the shoe on the beginning of this sequence. I would have gotten this a while ago, but I kept getting interrupted by other things coming up, like Bowser. Or the reveal of the blue coin mechanic. Oh, yeah, then I fell that one time. Yeah! Cat Shine! Welcome to Shine Your Cat. You just keep scrubbing them no matter how much they fight. Until they shine. With the power of Cat Shine, your cat can be gloriously incandescent. And resentful. Why is that how he leaves? <laughs> I'm really mad about my eyes getting light in them, so I'm gonna drill into this ground. Wait, I thought it said that I had a five. But that says that I have three. Oh, was that just an indicator? Right, that was an indicator of me getting all five of the... Doop. This one doesn't infer that I have a new one to get. Is there a teleport mechanic? That'd be a hell of a thing to find out now, right? Like, yeah, you could just teleport the whole time, you big dummy. Oh, does this send you back to the beginning? The fool that I am. I'm a fool. It totally does just send you back to the beginning, doesn't it? Then if I drop down here and go back up, they're all just relaxing in the pool. This probably spawned the new version of the world. Yep. Key to cat shine. Look at the cat. Look at the skate goombas. And the bees. Where's the cat shine? I think my skates are gone too. Oh, I probably had to kill the guys that were on the skates. Yep. Ooh. Well, doesn't this just solve all my ding-dang problems? Is it at the end? There it is, okay. <laughs> But I can't take it with me on the way back. I also think I can't run with it. Oh yeah, no, because you, you pick it up by running, so I have to run to get it again. I think the only way back up is through here. This might have been where you would discover this whole path. Otherwise. Wait, is the way up gone? No, it was over here. Hey, this will stop me from grabbing the wall constantly. So would being any other character. <laughs> Just wearing any wearing any other costume. But cat mode. <laughs> really having trouble with that corner, huh? Okay, it's being run mode. I have to throw it first, because that's how entering run mode happens. They're really dedicated to a version of Mario that uses like a total of like three buttons in most cases. Even if it means severely overmapping the, uh, the, th the run button to also do like four other jobs. Uh oh, spikes are here. Gotta be real careful. Oh, don't go over there! I made a grave mistake. I didn't, I didn't see the spikes, and I apparently forgot about them, too. Because the, uh, the boost pad was in the way. It's like, nope, both sides of that boost pad is more spikes. Don't know how you fucked that up, honestly. There is but one shine remaining. Just gotta hop on up. Oop, just lost that shoe immediately. Look at the cat birds. Music got dramatic down here. Threatening even. 
I sure I appreciate that. Slip skate slope. Use the skate again, I guess. I don't know what my goal is. Let's find out. I'm the skate. I have the skate and this at the same time. Didn't realize that was an option. Uh-oh, we got Boozer. More like loser, am I right? That's the, uh, that's, that's the level I'm bringing today, apparently. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <gasps> Skate faster. Oh, God. What is my goal? I don't know what my goal was. Ah, my shoe! Oh. That's an additional boozer spot. Alright, I'll just hang out here until he attacks me, I guess. This is right next to the other spot. Oh god. Wow! Blast the fury blocks. Wait. Was that the last one? That's all five of them, yeah. So I still need to do the fury blocks. So the other blocks I got weren't for this world. They're either for the next world or they're one of those in-between worlds ones. So slip skate was just the name of the world I'm in. There wasn't actually a slip skate objective like I thought there was. How does that... Oh yeah, it's just a little floating one. That was separate. I hadn't done this one's blocks yet. I thought I was skating through to find whatever the objective was for this zone. I'm being hyper-completionist right now. So fure. I don't like cat- I do not like cat ear Koopas. I- I like cat ear Ko I like cat ear Koopas with wife beaters even less. <laughs> what a distressing name for a shirt. That just people look- just- Got used to at some point. Oh, looks like something someone would wear if they uh they beat their wife. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll call it that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't think I'm gonna ever see a requirement for one of these things ever again. Because the other one needed five, and by the time I left that zone, I had like 18. This one requires I don't know how many. But when I, f I just got to it for the first time and I have 25 now compared to the 5 for last zone, so... Who knows? So Plessy wants to play a little race over here, right? So... Oh, hi! That face. I don't think I like the design for Plessy very much. Controversial take. We're just trying to get- oh, 20 seconds. So these rings don't matter, but they're like a- they're kind of like guiding me in the optimum path, I think. Yeah, there's like a weird momentum to Plessy that you have to navigate. Oh, or that happens. And now I might have not made it. <sighs> Hurry, swim and slide. Well, that was close. Are there any more? Do we have any more stars yet? Still says five. Maybe we are done with this place for good. It does seem like a reasonably round number to stop on. These aren't huge areas, so more than five might really wear out its welcome. I kind of appreciate just kind of how light this game is. Like, I'll probably beat it in one day, or two. That's kind of like a nice break. Like how, like how, like, MDK was only six episodes long, and that was the game before this one. And it's like, yeah! That's, games can be this long, that's fun. Just have a, a fun little adventure, and then it doesn't try to, like, justify its price for, like, 30 hours. That said, uh, you wouldn't have to worry about justifying your price as much if you didn't charge 60 dollars. For it. That is really, that is like a deal breaker in a lot of ways. Like, I can justify it as a business expense, but holy shit. 
Like, if you're the if you're the specific if you're the specific person who already played the pre the game that this is an expansion to, and you just want to play Bowser's Fury, like paying sixty dollars just for Bowser's Fury is probably a deal breaker. That's kind of I, just, I, I don't understand. Like, I sell them as a bundle, sure, but also why not let people buy this on its own? What a choice. Don't worry, sad cat. I'll find her. Oh, I didn't mean to zoom in on it. I don't want to confront these feelings. 